नमस्ते ऐ आम प्रोफेसर गणपति रेडि वेलकम टू मई चानल टूडे ऐ आम गिविंग वन बिग लेक्चर आकलटी डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम दिस वीडियो इज टोटली यूजफुल टू आल टीचर्स इंजीनियरिंग नॉन इंजीनियरिंग or who are teaching in any commercial institutes so how you can improve your teaching methodology normally teachers what kind of mistakes they do so do's and don'ts then uh, in your in this teaching profession what type of works we do so what are the responsibilities of a teacher so all those things i am going to cover it is a lengthy video so take one hour time and watch till the ending definitely this video will change your life you can enjoy your teaching profession and end of your retirement or at the time of retirement you will be satisfied with your teaching profession by giving by satisfy by making all these students satisfied to full extent so let us start with responsibility of a teacher in this there are in the teaching profession you come across these five parts one is preparation preparation is one area where teachers spend lot of time second area is teaching then how they are writing the exam evaluation process then every teacher involved in kind of administration work other than teaching we do lot of administration work then also how to improve your individual growth in terms of qualification and research etc so let me explain each one as a part of preparation first one read many standard textbooks so being a teacher you should read many standard textbooks not the local books you can also refer local books but you should not forget to read standard textbook once you are going through all different types of books when and uh, conclude which book is best so some topic you want to teach go through all the books read all the books understand which book is giving best information so once you got that idea then prepare notes prepare notes on full size papers without margin not a4 papers it is a full size papers so when you are writing notes what are the precautions a teacher should follow your course file should contain following year wise time table individual time table then syllabus course plan list of books or journals then assignment uh, questions and solutions quiz papers internal exam papers university question papers at least 4 5 years then unit wise notes ohp sheets if you are using in your subject then as a part of additional information content behind the syllabus providing to the student then any cds related to ppts or videos or animation etc then iqac internal quality assessment cell analysis iqac analysis so each unit uh, how much percentage of questions you are giving co wise etc course outcomes and copo correlation mapping then attainment of first mid second mid consolidated mid and external course attainment target your every course has got some target target can be 
level of 2 or level of 3, level of 1 depending on the standard of the subject. Then uh, <coughs> achievement, comments, etc. So these things you have to maintain in your course file. So when you are preparing notes, full size paper without any margins. So these notes once you have written, use a sheet protectors, where you can keep all full size papers without a margin, use sheet protectors. So sheet protectors will contain anyway holes, you can file. Use clip type plastic file. A clip type is, you should know how to open easily, close easily, pick up the paper and teach in the class, again keep it back. So it will be very comfortable. And because you are using sheet protectors, single time once you have written, lifelong it will be useful. And sheet protector really protect the papers, because chalk piece powders, uh, when you are teaching in the summer, ants may be sweating. So all papers will be protected comfortably with the sheet protectors. Always it looks like uh, neat and recently you have written. Then read the prepared notes. Once you prepared a notes, so read the prepared notes again and practice important points and uh, expressions. So when you are reading the prepared notes again and again, you will understand and practice key points and uh, expressions. So that is the preparation part. Now coming to teaching. Once you prepared, you are going into class with a plastic file. File contain your notes, what are the topics you are going to teach in the class. So in the teaching, first is time in and time out. Most of the teachers will leave the class late, 2 minutes, 5 minutes, sometimes 7, 8, 10 minutes also. That is very, very bad practice. You can go into class 2-3 minutes late, but you cannot extend even fraction of second. You can't eat others' time. You don't have any powers to eat others' time. Okay, once again I'm, I am repeating, time out is very very important than time in. So, 2-3 minutes late you can go but on time you have to close. That is time in and time out. Board cleaning. Once you enter into class, first job is clean the board. Because you may be climbing steps, third floor may be a classroom, your breathing levels may be high. So till your breathing level become normal, you can clean the board. If previous teacher cleaned really well, fine, but mostly in a hurry, previous class teacher may not clean properly, so you clean it again. Then you have to take the next part is attendance. In the beginning of the class only, you have to take the attendance. When you are taking attendance, what are the guidelines? Why the student attendance register has to be maintained properly and preserved for future use? So this maintained properly and preserved for future use. Why? If any student to detain, they go to court. Then court will request to vice chancellor to form a committee. Committee will visit the college and check all the registers. So for that purpose, you have to preserve these registers properly and that will be useful in for future. What additional information has to be included in the register just before commencement of the semester? So it should include your syllabus and course plan, course plan, then academic schedule, when classwork will start, when is your first mid when is your second mid, etc. So all the information should be available in your register. And also which room you are taking the class. Is it 402 or 301? That room number also you write. 
and also in the register you mark your time table wednesday second hour monday last hour so the time table also you write on the register room number also you write on the register syllabus book course file i mean course plan how how you are planning to cover the syllabus so such type of information register should contain how many number of students names have to be entered in each page of the register most comfortable is 25 names 25 names is comfortable when the attendance has to be taken during the class some teachers take in the beginning some at the big middle of the class some at the end of the class end of the class never recommended you can take in the middle if not in the immediately so as soon as you want to start the class first you finish your attendance then you start the class or you can also start the class something you are written on the board students are copying at that time also you can take the attendance but definitely not end of the class what is the role of academic diary and course plan in the register so course plan is you you are planning each topic how many hours you can take unit wise how many hours etc that is your plan academic diary is how you are covering the topics so there will be some error between plan and diary but no problem after 3 4 times once you taught the error between plan and diary will be reduced so it will become excellent plan how to mark the presence and absence of a student student is present like 1 2 3 one numbers you write it if student is absent there are two options mark a student is absent mark a if student is present 1 2 3 numbers will cumulatively increase this is one way of marking second way of marking if student is absent instead of putting a previous number you write as it is so this is another way of so each department each college will follow different style and generally best option is absent you put the mark with capital a not small a and like that if present 1 2 3 numbers cumulatively it will go that's the best practice what should be the updated just before submitting the register for hod or principal signatures so what you can update update means so every month ending you submit the register for hod hod will sign later it will go to principal for signatures some colleges some senior faculty will check some colleges only hods will check so as per that procedure you have to follow one important thing is uh every month ending if you are submitting by that time how many classes you have taken update last column how many students are having attendance below 75 how many are having attendance below 65 below 65 put two circles below 75 put one circle with red pen so you will be knowing that how many students are having below 65 how many are having below 75 when you go to next class in the class you can ask the students so these are the students are having below 65 these are having below 75 you can warn students who are having below 65 so that is one thing <coughs> then after you communicate it to the student after you inform or you understand why that student is having shortage then you put a star mark that means you have communicated you have informed about the attendance status to the student so these informations you have to up diary update the diary what you have written and if you posted the marks marks statistics also you have to enter uh, 0 to 10 how many students 10 to 20 how many students 20 to 30 how many some kind of statistics so all the date all the information keep it ready and submit for signature is it necessary to enter student internal marks in the attendance list yes internal marks you have to enter can the correction fluid whitener be used to modify any entry made in the register whitener not allowed in the register register 
color is a blue and any document you have written in the blue color register that is a valid record for the court and whitener not allowed and only if you, there is a correction you make a correction and write again put the signatures if it is a whitener means any number of times you can apply whitener then uh, if you sub when if you submit it to the court then judge will cross question so you are already applying whitener it might be applied many number of times there might be some manipulations so whitener strictly not allowed in the register so these are the guidelines teacher should know when you are maintaining register so this is attendance part classroom arrangements such as fans windows ohps and doors so once you enter into class how wall fans are on or not windows open or not door is door don't open fully don't close fully door partially open so that any attender or some inspection hod or principal can come inside easily and if you open door totally your energy will go away from the door and the students attention will be disturbed if somebody is walking in the corridor and your attention also disturbed and if you close totally then outsider may think that whether you are taking class or some other activity is going on so don't close door totally don't open door totally partially open and all windows must be open if you are using ohp arrange ohp properly and you should know how to use ohp otherwise time will be wasted and heading on the board is important once you are starting teaching put the heading because some students will come late 2 3 minutes 5 minutes late they ask an immediate student neighbor what is the topic going on unnecessarily you are welcoming some discussions in the class so heading on the board is important and before you start review previous class don't revise completely in detail just to headlines important points uh, review revise and so that students will be connected it's like even tv serial also and uh, last yesterday serial some important points they show it again so that story will be connected and standing on the dais while explaining compulsorily you have to stand on the dais don't come down and don't uh, go into the class so compulsory you stand on the dais while you are explaining audibility and visibility is very very important and uh, if you are a beginner you just cross check am i audible and visibility when you are writing on the board what font size should be visible to the last bench students so that is very important and board organization will come with experience how you can organize what to write what not to write what to erase what key points are important to keep it so this board organization is an art and some te teachers will divide the part into board into some column 1 column 2 column 3 some teachers will start writing right side and keep on moving left side so depending i can't generalize this by experience it will come but you have to write horizontally not in a diagonal pattern that is important and body language is an art you should know how to move the hands and head movement facial expressions so this body language is also an art okay so this you can't copy it individual talent individual capab capability so body language and dress code when you enter into class dress code is important a decent dress in shirt belt and shoe proper shaving etc if you are lady faculty sari is a pref preference if you are kurta pyjama again students also wearing similar no difference between your dress and student dress so better go to class with 
sari the gents a decent dress in shirt shoe shaving comb the hair properly so your confidence while teaching confidence based on your dress sense you just check yourself okay and another important is speed many teachers thinks that i am great if i teach in a speed manner very speed no speed never be encouraging speed is not at all important slow and steady slow and steady and uh, in between any important concepts are there revise it not a constant speed some some concepts simple go fast some concepts tough then you decrease the speed so speed is also one important parameter and you can crack some jokes in between jokes related to the subject not a general and too many jokes not uh, correct occasionally one or two jokes you can use in the class notes dictation don't dictate the notes like uh, keep on spending time keep on dictating they are keep on writing is not a good practice whatever you write on the board students will write anyway whatever important points you are speaking that anyway they have to write so don't dictate notes like all pages time waste problem solution by the students when students are solving and you can give key key steps let remaining intermediate steps let them do it you need not do all detail steps avoid usage of words repeatedly like so the okay understand therefore hence etc some teachers every end of the sentences understand again another sentence understand so don't use these kind of words repeatedly some students only concentrate on counting how many number of times you are saying understand how many times you are saying therefore etc so avoid is repeated words and doubts clarification when any student is asking doubt don't uh, run to the student you stand on the dais only listen the doubt clearly explain that her doubt or his doubt to the entire class then you give the answer then all students will be impressed with you and summarize once class is over and just to summarize don't revise in detail just to summarize important key points end of the class so course plan and after this is over in the register uh, syllabus coverage you have, you have to write and in this course plan when you are preparing a course plan i will show typical course plan how you can prepare so here uh, week number and unit number lecture number and topics then date of completion hod signature principal signature so this is one format and different colleges will follow different format so like that all five units you have to write so 60 hours i planned it can be 45 hours depending on number of hours in a week okay so when you are preparing this you keep the calendar with you and uh, accordingly you remove as per your individual time table calendar uh, which day is holiday how many classes are going so effectively how many hours you are getting as per that you prepare a course plan sometimes so for example monday you have two periods in that particular semester many mondays are holidays that means you are going to get less number of hours in that subject in that particular semester then accordingly you plan don't take hours from other teachers as per your schedule only you plan usage of ohp and lcd so when you are using ohp or lcd you should know how to use them some teachers they waste lot of time 
for adjusting OHPs. So when you free time, go to class and learn how to use OHP and in the regular class directly use it. Nowadays, most of the colleges uh, OHPs are replaced with LCDs and uh, my sincere advice is avoid usage of OHPs and LCD overhead the projector. So the information will go over the head only, it will not go through the head. I uh, have taken feedback from many many students, they are all interested in blackboard teaching only, not LCD, not OHP. However, AST University is recommending, suggesting to use OHPs, but some extent use it, don't use only OHPs or LCD for entire subject. Some topics maybe this will save your time, OHP or LCD. Some topics never use, so you should know which topic you, have, you can use, which topic you can't use. Accordingly, you can plan. Activeness on the stage. So, you should be very active and energetic on the stage. Favorism. Don't be favorism to any kind of student. Students should not get that kind of thought in their mind. This teacher is favorable to some students. Command over the class. So, if you prepare the class confidently, automatically, that command reflect on your face. Clarity of communication. So, communication does not mean that only English. What is there in your mind? The same way, whatever way you understood, as it is, it should go to student minds. Whether you give some examples or the way how you speak, okay, it can be anything, but it should be very clear. Deviation from the subject, this is a senior's problem, seniors easily deviate from the subject, so deviation one or two times allowed, but regular deviation is not a good practice. And explanation is important, explain again and again until students are understanding. Okay. So, entire teaching what is important is explanation. Explanation is insufficient, they do not understand. If they are not understanding, they stop listening. So, give sufficient explanation. Where more explanation is needed, where less is needed, uh, you know it already accordingly. Because when you are learning, if it is a tough to learn, give more explanation because it is same tough for students also. If you are learning easily, it is also easy for the students, there you can go a little bit fast or with less explanation. Ability to make course interesting. So, importance of the course, where it is useful, what is the prerequisite and is this subject useful for GATE or IES. So, make some course interesting and importance of the subject also you tell and the students uh, counseling. So, in this student counseling is also important as a part of your teaching, student counseling is also one important role nowadays every engineering colleges they are following. So, instruction to student counselor, before you start counseling, copy monthly attendance, quiz marks from the respective files available in HOD room or you can soft copies are available in some somewhere from that also you can copy if you ask students to write they may write wrongly please update personal data like mobile numbers contact address mails mail ids etc don't entertain anything related to other teachers feedback so counseling purpose is whether they are understanding other faculty teaching that is not uh, your business. Your business is to understand the students, are they going in a right track or not? What type of skills they have? Accordingly, you have to guide them. Okay. If any student is irregular to the class below 65 or poor in academic performance, inform parents personally through telephone. Give suggestions related to soft skills, future plan, time management, reading habits, effective listening, curricular and co-curricular activities, methods to score good marks, personality development, 
questions in the classroom prepare preparation to competitive examinations like cat gre tofel gate is campus placement etc this fifth point is very very important so this you have to guide properly before handing over the counseling sheets to the in charge fill all the details attendance quiz marks so that a record will be useful for next counselor submit report in the specified format after final counseling so this counseling is also nowadays important so student counseling is also part of your teaching so teaching is over next coming to evaluation evaluation as a when you are teaching students are understanding or not how much they are learning so all those things you have to measure give assignment assignment may be this an art giving assignment also you you give some each unit 20 questions or 30 questions or 15 questions these questions might be already asked in different university already or maybe different models come across in different books and when you collected a beautiful question bank in one unit that total bank give it to students each student let them answer five or six questions any five six questions or you can also ask first 10 students to solve first five questions remaining 10 students or remaining five questions remaining 10 students or remaining five questions like that also you can ask so depending on your subject okay you can decide yourself giving previous question papers this will definitely help how to prepare standard of question paper setting too much of tough too much of easy not important so after evaluation the marks distribution should be like a gaussian probability density curve some students should get ranges 0 to 10 some should be 10 to 20 some should be 20 to 30 all getting between 20 30 not correct all getting between 0 and 10 not correct so accordingly you decide standard of the question paper type of the question paper what kind of question paper you are giving mistakes in the question paper before you give and read one or two times see that no mistakes in the question paper this mistakes will give lot of confusion among the students time requirement also important if time is given 2 hours whether student can able to answer required number of questions in a given time and all are uh, solving in a one hour and leaving the class not correct all are writing 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 time is not sufficient not correct so time requirement is important then valuation of the question papers issue of valued scripts so compulsory mid the papers you have to issue in the class and discuss uh, what kind of mistakes students are doing okay so all such things compulsorily you have to issue the valued scripts statistical statistical distribution of the marks so 0 to 10 how many got 10 to 20 this distribution will help you a lot this question paper is tough valuation is tough students are not understanding the so total thing you can measure by uh, statistical distribution of the marks and posting of the marks in the register or wherever it is necessary then another fourth important is an administration and uh, so compulsorily every teacher nowadays involve or do some administration work as a part of administration invigilation is also a part of administration so in the invigilation switch on the fans tube lights if necessary <coughs> fans tube lights open some of the windows ask the students to sit in the middle or sit in the room because time is over students will be waiting outside ask them so announcement if any see that they are sitting in the middle of the bench ask them to write the rule number on the question paper 
or if they bring any unwanted material so some kind of announcements if there are there you announce it use parallel process to distribute the question papers and don't forget to switch off fans tube lights after the exam and works assigned by hod or a principal know the work exactly what when how to do before you start you should know exactly what type of work when to do how to do it without knowing if you start doing then you have done something wrong again repeatedly you have to do it and intimate the status of work periodically now last one is individual growth individual growth is very very important as a part of individual growth workshops seminars attended we should attend the workshops if you attend uh, seminars or a workshop certain things you don't understand when you don't understand then uh, you, when you are teaching the class if students also not understanding then that pain you will be knowing it so that's why occasionally semester one or two times you should attend the workshops then second one qualification improvement m tech with phd b tech uh, then m tech like that you have to improve your qualification then paper presentation go to other colleges and present paper workshops seminars organization so beginning you have to learn but at one stage then organize the workshop you will be the coordinator for the workshop in your area organize in your specialization organize a workshop then books published maybe after 10 years of your experience you can also publish books and publications national or international then patents guest lectures go to other colleges give guest lectures and resource person for the workshops other colleges you will be a resource person so in these areas you have to grow slowly by the time you retired so each area you should have some information some information so that your personal profile will improve and accordingly you have to plan then general instructions dignity and decorum or a good behavior is important professional ethics morals principles because students are observing hod is observing society is observing professional ethics morals principles important then viva voce viva voce means testing the voice when you are conducting viva ask the students to speak don't ask the students to show me the symbol of diode no no question of writing in the viva you interact with the questions see how their voice their facial expression their confidence level etc then record valuation is important when you are evaluating record theory theory or equations whatever you have given they were right circuit diagram that to tabular graph circuit diagram they do mistakes so check the circuit diagram second one uh, graph once a graph is as per the expected then readings are correct so these two important to check then result also you check it and sign extraction of work with the supporting staff so every lab you have a supporting staff and you should know how to use their service rules and regulations while relieving so when you want to relieve the organization and know the rules and regulation and follow accordingly and documentation whatever work you are doing in administration those documentation is important awareness alertness consciousness so as a personality development be nice to people look please to see people show interest avoid fault finding look cheerful don't desire to be the center of attraction continuation avoid desiring to be considered superior control your moods cooperative and be 
helpful give encouragement and appreciation avoid talking back of the peoples be enthusiastic and energetic the attributes of a good teacher knowledgeable able to answer questions and lead to discussion communication skills ability able to express difficult concepts in simple flexibility able to adapt the level of participation presentation skills makes a dull subject interesting group process skills appears in total control in the classroom so these are the some of the attribute of a good teacher some do's and don'ts also let me explain when it is time for you to start your session walk confidently to the dais and appear to be in control make a good start with the proper introduction establish credibility stand direct to your full height put participants in ease use humor if you have the knack prepare a detailed lesson plan a glance at which from time to time should provide confidence that you are progressing as you should some teachers spend more time in first unit fifth unit they spend less so what you planned how you are going so time to time you check it talk clearly and sufficiently loudly be alert to catch non verbal feedback from the participants non verbal feedback when you are teaching a class see that all are attentive or they if they are somebody is listening not listening looking at other sides okay so those are the feedback non verbal feedback ask questions to check if you are being understood be prepared to change your level of adjustment to the interest and comprehension level of the students after every major point stop for a brief summary 10th point after every major point stop for a brief summary and don'ts don't get to draw into irrelevant discussion irrelevant discussions unnecessary don't run down if a student ask a silly question you be stand on the dais don't run don't exhibit sign of nervousness nervousness never memorize the text you can teach with the help of papers in your hand don't mumble then this is the student feedback for theory course how does the teacher explain the subject so based on your explanation exceedingly well adequately well inadequate totally inadequate how much opportunity does the teacher give for questions and discussion the scope of giving scope for the questions and discussion ample opportunity occasional opportunity rare opportunity never how does the teacher stimulate you to think about the subject highly stimulating stimulating rarely stimulating never how much of the subject material in the syllabus does the teacher complete how much of the subject material in the syllabus does teacher complete some teachers will cover fully some teachers only some part so some percentage is given how much of the class time does the teacher use for the teaching the subject so total time is utilized for teaching or some percentage is general discussion etc so it is again given some percentages when does the teacher return the corrected periodic test papers is giving within a week or within a month according so generally within one week or 10 days you have to show the papers in the class how is the language clarity of communication of the teacher it is based on the communication skill eighth one comment on the teacher's control and command over the class control and command if teacher students are keep on talking how you are able to controlling so what is your command on the class 
based on that one question what is the attitude of a teacher teacher towards you usually sympathetic and helpful sometimes sympathetic and helpful etc 10th does the teacher victimize or show favoritism to some students based on the favoritism how punctual is the teacher to the class so regularity and punctuality teacher is coming to the class late by 10 minutes 5 minutes etc does the teacher refer to his notes or books in the class rarely mostly always never does the teacher commit mistakes in the class never rarely generally always so always rarely is important when you taught certain things wrongly next class you correct it but that should not be a regular practice how about the teacher knowledge of the subject so based on the knowledge so these are the questions for theory now the next another questions for lab course please comment on the nature of experiment assigned to you comment on the nature of experiment experiment is innovative highly stimulating stimulating stereotype and interest how much stress was laid on the concepts underlying the experiment stress involved in the experiment too much stress inadequate adequate how much well was the procedure of the experiment explained how you are explaining the experiment to procedure exceedingly well inadequately well inadequate etc total inadequate how much opportunity was given for questions and discussion and fifth one how much support did you get during the lab session to overcome practical difficulties support did you get during the lab sessions excellent good satisfactory poor comment on the teachers involvement in the lab teacher involvement in the lab so you go to bench and explaining or always sitting at the table teacher spends most of the time with students and guides when needed teacher guides occasionally uh, seated in the lab in some corner and extends moral support only never guides the student some more questions in the lab course how much of the time slots allotted for lab courses was engaged how does the teacher stimulate you to think about solutions to the experiment what was the attitude of the teacher how far were the experiments relevant to the theory subject based on relevancy number of experiment assigned per semester how many experiments you are doing based on that quality and condition of equipment so keep those things for the lab so few quotations neglecting small things in life is to miss the biggest part of life itself i listen and i forget i see and i remember i do i learn this is another important quotation which i like maximum you have to take risks labor hard and prove your metal if you are successful don't let it go to your head if you fail don't give up rise to fight with the renewed vigor this is the only path to progress no bypasses no shortcuts so thanks to all the viewers please subscribe to my channel please share this video to all the teachers and please write comments if you have any so thank you very much this video is very lengthy so i can't take pieces wise and if i elaborate it will be more than 2 hours so that much time you don't have to listen so little bit fastly i cover but given all possible information So all teachers, please go through all these points. Keep these things in your mind, and uh, every year one time you go through this video.
so that you will be in a proper track in a correct direction so thank you very much thank you to everyone